Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I am Lamia and this is The Lamb Style and I am your personal stylist and we will be talking today about a subject that I really really love is the trends for fall 2023-2024 first trend is something that I have like a, a hate-love relationship with it's the um, autumn flowers or fall flowers that's how they call it I think it is a trend that actually involves flowers but in a bigger size and in a darker colors so that's how it is I'm going to show you here in some pictures how it looks like from the runway and from you know what we already have now in some websites like Reese, they already included this. Uh, I don't know if you know the brand, if you don't know it, I'm going to put the website down below in the description box for you. It is kind of nice, it is a nice trend. It's been running for a very long time. It's been here for spring, summer until now, but I don't know if everyone is actually brave enough to adopt it. The next trend, and it is in the same theme, and it's the 3D textures or 3D flowers or 3D kind of dresses, you know. It's a texture thing, it's voluminous, it's very accentuated, it's either a flower that is 3D, I can't say 3D, <laughs> okay, it's a 3D effect on an item, on a dress, on a shirt, on a jacket that actually adds this touch of uniqueness and being a bit more creative and out there that we've seen it on the runway carolina herrera it's been there also for spring summer but it's going to continue until fall okay this trend is not my favorite but i'm just going to mention it here it's skirt over trousers this reminds me of the 90s when i was a kid i was wearing that kind of trend but i think it's coming back but i'm not really a fan of it because it actually if you're a bit um, if you have a big so if the person has curves this trend makes you look bulkier which is not great so it's very specific to a certain body type the athletic the skinny that what it looks like on but for the also just as a point of view on the style itself it is not really my favorite I don't think that it is something that I would be advising to my clients to do but I feel like more of a younger generation will be wearing that Okay, this trend, it's already out there. You have seen it everywhere on celebrities, but I don't think that any everyone likes to have their knickers out there for everyone to see. So I'm not, it's not literally knickers, it's like a fashion knicker. So you have to buy them and then wear it with like tights and stuff like that. So it, it, this trend is going to be strong during the fall. I see it more being worn with coats, or maybe wear long blazers that gives it more of a classic look because then you don't see your butts and it's a bit you know weird when you look when you see the butts some people are comfortable with that but i think it is more classy and it's more fashionable if you wear it in the way i just described another trend that i am predicting it to be huge 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 huge, 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 huge. it's going to be extremely big on fall it is the structure, structural, structured shoulders. Anything with big, huge structure is going to be extremely, extremely trendy and we're going to see it everywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it myself. And if you need a video about that and how to style a structure jacket, a structured coat, let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. But I think it is such a classic look that comes back from the um, 80s and 90s and it just it just gives this powerful look in an outfit um, so that's why I think it's going to be big because of the feeling that it gives to people and also I've seen lots of designers using it on the runway so Saint Laurent, um, L'Enfant, these kind of brands have been using it a lot so just expect it, it's going to be huge. So if the next thing you want to buy for this fall, it would be a structured jacket. So this one is big, it's lace. Lace is going to be huge, it's going to be big. We've seen it with Gucci, Balenciaga, Off-White, and it is going to be also present for the nightwear. And also, it's, even if you want to wear it during the day, with a jacket or a blazer, it will look extremely chic 
I believe that lace makes everything looks feminine even if it's mixed up with a very strong st structure like um, uh, I mean a uh, strong fabric like leather it still looks very feminine so that is something you can adopt into your wardrobe to uh, add a touch of femininity to whatever you're wearing Okay, so I am a huge fan of this trend. It is black and white. We know black and white, we are associated automatically with Chanel, and it is absolutely the ultimate classic color combination that has been there since forever, but that combination now is extremely trendy. So keep in mind, black and white, the way you can put it is always putting the white closer to your face and the black uh, on the bottoms and that way you keep the brightness closer to your face so that it just doesn't make you look very dark very harsh but it's up to you you wear whatever you want to wear uh, in general it's going to be back in a really big way this time of the year this one trend that i have seen everywhere not everywhere okay let me just say it differently i have seen it with few brands and i have talked about it in some of my videos on tiktok where where i was given my uh, my um review on some um runway shows so i've seen the landscape type of printing on clothes to be big with zimmerman and i've seen it in person with roberto cavalli um so I am predicting this to be again coming big and I see I'm seeing people will be wearing them some of the prints will be referring to some old school uh, paintings uh, some very popular uh, things from the uh, pop culture but the printing of a landscape will be very interesting for fall 2023 2024 and um, I mean you should be proud of wearing things like that because First of all, it's not tacky, in my opinion. It kind of looks a bit elevated and classy and unique. So if you want to go for that look, go for landscape printing on clothes. Okay, so let's discuss a bit the colors because I know I want to put everything in this video, but there's so many things. I'll try to share that with you in a different way, but um, let's discuss the color palette. So for fall 2023, 2024, we need to keep in mind that even though it's going to be gloomy, we can bring some light into our life through the colors in the clothes. So the pop of color, it is a good trend to adopt this season. So you can add some, um, some like um, some green, some yellow, some some like lavender. These colors are very popular. I've seen them on the runway a lot, like with Loewe and many other brands. So. Just try to include some of the color into your wardrobe. The best way for me to integrate color into uh, someone's wardrobe, and that's like just my kind of very brave way of doing it, is adding it into the coat. Adding a nice pop of color in the coat, in the bag, that is the easiest way to add it because you can just be wearing black underneath and then the pop of color on the coat creates the whole illusion with uh, your outfit and makes it look very trendy or very fresh um, so if you want to buy something just go for a bag that is colorful or a coat but usually coat is easier to do this one trend is for everyone who is basic i'm basic too because it's easier to dress as a basic person but uh, beige every single shade of beige is very trendy so don't hesitate to just play with it do a monochromatic looks and uh, play with the beige color it's so um, so elevated in itself you don't really need to style it in any way you just when you put a monochromatic look in beige it just looks extremely chic so, I know I have introduced lots of trends to you in this video but I'm going to just conclude it by giving you the one trend that if you had to adopt something adopt it right now right away is the structured shoulders for jackets or coats those are very easy to put into your wardrobe because it fits with most of body shapes and it fits with most of styles so that is my advice for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoy making them i really enjoy sharing the information and my knowledge so if you can like and subscribe that will really help me continue doing this for you guys and if you have any questions pop them in the comment below and i will see you in my next video so stay safe and share if you care